Vice Chancellor, I apologise that I can't meet you in person, but I'm currently in Karlsruhe, Germany, at a research workshop to plan for European funding. So instead, I've put together this short video to outline the ways in which our school is actively engaged in innovation and engagement. I wish to present our activities under the three headings, collaboration with industry, contribution to educational outreach, and embedding irony into our degree schemes. These are just a selection of the logos of the many organisations with which staff in mathematics collaborate with, <coughs> such as directly contributing research innovation, receiving funding, providing student placements and projects, or contributing to our research-led teaching. Engagement covers a breadth of mathematical sciences across the different research groups within our school. One particular aspect of innovation and engagement that I'd like to highlight has been in mathematical modelling for healthcare. We have a strong track record for securing funding in this area, both from various research councils and from the NHS itself, such as an exciting initiative with the Anaya and Bevan Health Board to create a modelling unit comprising of four research associates for, funded for two years initially. We are also actively engaged with Welsh Government, who are, for example, currently funding a member of staff to be seconded there for 18 months to demonstrate the potential impact of mathematical modelling. As just a few examples, we've been working with the Welsh Ambulance Service to help them better forecast demand, help decide on where to locate ambulances to better meet response times and maximise patient outcomes, and improve their scheduling and, and staff rosters. In collaboration with several UK hospitals and the Met Office, we have developed a unique decision support tool that accurately predicts emergency demand for various medical conditions linked to the weather. So alongside our standard familiar weather maps, hospitals are receiving daily forecasts of numbers of admissions and bed occupancy predictions. This is being piloted with five hospitals with a view to uh, explore the commercial potential of the tool. And finally, our modelling was used to help redesign the A&E department at the University Hospital of Wales. And based on our recommendations, the hospital changed the patient care pathways and resources last year. They estimate the net efficiency gains so far to be £1.6 million. We are an active partner in the Cumberland Initiative, a, ne a network of 15 universities with companies such as IBM and BT exploring healthcare technologies. And we have a national centre now located in the business park uh, along the M4 corridor near Reading. As for international scope, we are strong in this respect too, and as an example, we're delighted to have been chosen to host the ORS conference in 2011, a premier international conference in our field. Turning our attentions now to educational outreach, we are very active in engaging with school students and teachers. And in fact, over the last three years alone, we estimate we have directly provided mathematical outreach activities to some 1,500 pupils. We offer a range of uh, a programme of inspiring lectures by well-known popular mathematicians, as well as delivering interactive school-based activities. We host the annual UK Mathematics Trust Senior Team Challenge Regional Final, and the winning school goes through to the final in London. And not forgetting the needs of our mathematics teachers, we get involved with hosting teacher training events too. Finally, at the national level, we're involved in initiatives such as the Learn About Operational Research website and associated resources, such as an award-winning careers video by the OR Society that members of the school contributed to and, are being mem and by being members of the school society's school's task force. And last but by no means least, we briefly look at the way in which we embed I&E into our degree schemes for the benefit of our students and for industry. At the undergraduate level, we run a highly successful and popular professional placement scheme whereby students spend their third year out in industry before returning for their fourth and final year. Our students obtain places with many prestigious companies with whom we enjoy excellent relationships with. At the postgraduate taught level, we have two MSc programmes now in their third year of operating. An advisory board of senior staff from industry and government oversee our programmes and provide helpful feedback on the content to ensure we train and equip our students with the desirable skills for the competitive workplace. A particular feature of the degree is that we aim to place all our students into industrial placements for three months over the summer as part of their dissertations. We also encourage external organisations to teach on the MSc. For example, we run case study days such as one last December shown in the photographs here when staff from the AA, the Automobile Association, presented a real-life problem and students worked in groups to solve that problem and present back at the end of the day. Our module on statistics and OR in government is unique to any programme in the UK 
and is actually delivered by staff from Welsh Government and the Office for National Statistics. And indeed, the school enjoys a very healthy relationship with the ONS for many years now, and our links with them and their input into the MSc programmes resulted in the school being awarded 2011 Cardiff University Innovation Prize. As a school, we would certainly benefit from increased physical space to allow us to increase our student intake and staff numbers. But not necessarily all of this space, though, would be used for larger blackboards, as shown here. And indeed, staff in the school are in innovating and engaging with teaching resources, such as embedding multimedia resources into their courses to support learning, flipped classrooms, inquiry-based learning approaches, and the use of open source software. And we are encouraged to hear as a school about the Future Learn project, and I've already written to Professor Price to express our desire to contribute where possible. So to conclude, what are the future plans and uh, innovation and engagement challenges for mathematics? Well, we desire to maintain and expand our links with partners in industry, commerce and government. And to help achieve this, we have secured INE funds to hold a series of maximising impact workshops between research staff and par um, industrial partners. Funding has also been secured to initiate this summer a CUMIS, a Cardiff University Maths in Schools Ambassadors Scheme, similar to the successful Cardiff University CUROP scheme, but with a focus on undergraduates developing teaching resources and developing and delivering these in the classroom with several partner secondary schools. In this respect, we also contributed to the um, ideas to the successful RC UK School University um, partnership bid, and we will work with Bruce Etherington, the Community Engagement Manager, this year to help ensure we achieve the goals of the project. And we will develop and continue to develop and um, innovate where appropriate in our teaching, embedding INE into our curriculum. So apologies once again, Vice-Chancellor, that I can't be there in person to answer questions, but further details about some of the content I mentioned here can be seen on my personal website, and I hope that this video helped. Actually, on that website, you'll see that I'm a big fan of producing short videos like this, which I find are very useful for disseminating aspects of research for promotion and public understanding. Thank you for your attention and for listening.